All right, we're going to do a test with the speakers covered this time. And we're just starting it here. Start. There we go. We're working. Recording. And this is with 42 hertz, as you can see. There it is, the doors. I taped the doors up. Right there. I didn't do the tweeters. I didn't want to risk having the tape stick to the cone. But uh, you can see the doors are taped, black duct tape. I taped the window all the way around. That's pretty much it, other than. Uh, Pull it apart, it's all daily. All right, here we go. We locked ourselves in with the tape. There we are. <clears throat> As you can see, 156.2. We'll stop that. Stop. That's with 42 hertz, 156.2. Now let's go see what power it put out, or what power it took to actually get there. Okay, this is the this is the current draw. The current draw for that one one burp there was 207 amps. That's what it drew on the single one aught cable. It's about, I don't know, about 15 inches long. Alright, so that's 207 amp current draw. Alright, let's get that, get that meter out of the way. And we'll get the other meter, which was measuring the wattage. And we got a little bit more power this time, which is which is uh, respectable. Twenty seven hundred and thirty watts. That would account for the point two uh, gain. So that's that's right there. So That's on, that's a Sundown SAZ, or Z, as Americans call it, 1500D. And that is the, the only amp right now that I got that, that I can run on 18 volt and I'll run the subwoofers. Um, I'm getting tangled up here. So if you look at the power with oh one just went out well it was 207 amp it just it turned off because it was inactive but uh, 2730 watt with 207 amp current draw and these meters are calibrated identical so there is no bullshit that's with 156.2 as a result. And you can clearly see the meters right there. Right there. Cable going all the way down. 
follow it all the way to the sensor controller. <coughs> So there you have it, 2700 watt, 156.2.